scientists. Let's take a look at the back of your hand. Uh, a little closer. Hmm, a bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and get some magnification to take an even closer look. Oh my gosh, what are all of those things? They're microorganisms. Microorganisms are all of the microscopic things like bacteria, fungi, and viruses that you can't see with your naked eye. There are helpful and harmful microorganisms. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that can be found everywhere. Lots of bacteria are really helpful to us every day, like lactobacillus, a probiotic in yogurt that helps you digest your food, or Propionobacter shermani, which is one of several strains of bacteria used to make cheese. P. shermani specifically makes Swiss cheese and is the reason Swiss has those distinctive holes in it. There are even bacteria that eat chemicals that are harmful to humans. Alcanovorax borcuminis eats oil, which helps clean up major oil spills, and Shuanella putrefaciens can break down nuclear waste. Other bacteria are really harmful, like meningococcus that causes meningitis, streptococcus that causes strep throat, and salmonella that causes food poisoning. Sometimes, though, a bacteria is both beneficial and harmful, like E. coli. In your lower intestines, E. coli helps you break down food and absorb nutrients. But anywhere else, it can be really bad. Like in your eye, it can cause pink eye. Or in your upper digestive tract, it can cause severe food poisoning and diarrhea. Some bacteria are helpful simply by taking up space on your skin. They prevent other microorganisms from making you their new home. Viruses are pretty much all bad. These are non-living compartments of genetic material that use your cells to grow and reproduce. They're sort of like mini terrorists that hijack your cells, change the DNA, and use your cells to create thousands of more viruses until the cell explodes. Viruses cause things like the common cold, the flu, rabies, smallpox, and all immunodeficiency viruses like HIV in humans, FIV in cats, and SIV in primates. There's generally no cure for a virus. You just have to wait until your body fights it off. But a lot of times, since viruses weaken your ability to fight off bad bacteria, your doctor might also give you an antibiotic to help you keep from getting sick with something else at the same time. A lot of scientists are researching ways to use viruses for good by replacing virus genetic material and basically reprogramming the virus to only attack bad cells but so far they haven't made any specific progress. There are hundreds of thousands other microorganisms out there that can either be beneficial, harmful, or both. Yeast is a fungus that helps make bread, and it also lives on your skin. But if your skin bacteria are weakened, the yeast can take over and cause mild skin infections. Amoebas are single-celled animal microorganisms that while helpful to water ecosystems, pretty much just wreak havoc if they get into your body. They can cause things like dysentery, or really severe and life-threatening diarrhea, and even fatal brain infections. The best way to avoid any of these illness-causing and harmful microorganisms is to always wash your hands thoroughly. Wash your fruits and vegetables before you eat them, cook your food to specific safety temperatures, cover your mouth and nose when sneezing and coughing, and to only, only, only drink clean water. Let's pause and take a look at some questions. 